Hey everybody, please make sure to go ahead and rate, review, and subscribe. Thanks. 72. Let's get to Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's. This one came out, I think, middle or maybe fall of last year, and it's now on Amazon Prime to stream and maybe another service or two. It's directed by Emma Tammy, stars Josh Hutcherson, Piper Rubio, Elizabeth Lale, Matthew Lillard, Mary Stuart Masterson, and a few others. And the synopsis is, a troubled security guard begins working at Freddy Fosbear's Pizza. During his first night on the job, he realizes that the night shift won't be so easy to get through. Pretty soon, he will unveil what actually happened at Freddy's. So I remember when this one came out, it was a huge craze. It made almost $300 million, which is insane. I think the budget was only around 20, so a huge, I think Blumhouse's most successful to date, I think, could be wrong, but it's at least one of their top, if not number one. The reviews were fairly mixed, and most of the people I knew who watched it when it came out did not like it much. I've never played the games. I had never even heard of this series before the movie came out, so this was all very new to me. One thing, though, I had watched just by chance Willy's Wonderland with Nicolas Cage that came out maybe two or three years ago, which is basically a Five Nights at Freddy's ripoff, like parody, whatever you want to call it. So it was just by bad luck for me that I saw that before I watched this one because it is essentially the exact same story, just with Nicolas Cage. And that's, to me, is better. Sorry. But no matter what, I went into this one fairly blind, aside from just having that basic knowledge of the other movie I mentioned. And overall, it's not terrible. I don't think it's as bad as some people say. It's not amazing. One thing, though, that all of these movies, like Blumhouse films, should abide to is they should be like 80 minutes max, maybe 90. But this movie is an hour 45, I'm pretty sure, way too long for the story that's there, which is almost none. Like, I don't know why they felt the need to make this movie as long as it was, because it did feel long at times. Besides that, I like Josh Hutcherson. He's all right in this. He's not amazing. I don't love him in general, as I've said, but he's all right. The overall cast, no real complaints. I do really like the look of the Freddy animatronics. I think all that is really well done and sort of refreshing that that was not done with special effects. It didn't seem digital. Maybe I'm wrong there, but it seemed practical as much as it could be. So I really appreciated that. That looked awesome. The score by the Newton brothers is excellent. It looks pretty decent, I think, for a movie that takes place largely in a dumpy, dark arcade room, basically. I thought with the little lighting and difference of scenery, I thought it looked pretty decent, and it was directed fairly well. The jump scares, I'm not against normal jump scares. I guess it helped that they were these creepy bear animatronics. Still not amazing, though. It's sort of fleeting in terms of the scares. It's Once it's done, it's done. I think it could have been R-rated. It's only PG-13. And not that I need to have more gore, but I feel like all the kills and the scares were sort of watered down for not much benefit. I don't know if that would have had much difference on the box office. Maybe it would have. But that was a small issue. I think the thing I liked the most was Josh Hutcherson's character going into his dreams, quote-unquote, trying to figure out what happened to his brother who was kidnapped as a child, and asking people, hey, what happened? Did you see anything? Like, it's all fairly goofy, but it still was trying to do something a little bit more emotional, and him really being so torn apart by his mother having told him to watch his brother to make sure he was okay, and then he looked away or he did something else and got distracted, and his brother was kidnapped, and so that really weighs on him his, his whole life. I thought all that was very strong, but it did get a little repetitive going back and forth, back and forth from the night shifts at Freddy's to the dreams. It just felt kind of monotonous at points because there wasn't much being developed. It was like, oh, hey, did you see what happened? And then he would wake up and then he'd go to Freddy's and some small little thing would happen. And then it felt very dragged out needlessly. So I don't think it's an amazing movie. I know they're making a second one. I'll watch it. I don't have high hopes, but I think you could do worse when it comes to films like this. At least there's a few creative moments, and I can see if you maybe you like the games or 
something like that, it's I can see why it would appeal to you. It's not a horrible movie by any means. I just don't think it was nearly as good as it could be or as good as Willy's Wonderland, which if you like this one, watch Willy's Wonderland. I think you'll like it. I liked the twist at the end. I didn't know what was new, like if this is a new story or not. I'm completely unaware of that. I thought the final kill, sort of, of the main killer, I guess you could call it, or the main antagonist, I really liked the manipulation and the mechanics of that death. I thought that was very well done. Check it out if you have interest. It passed the time. It did the job. So, yeah. That one is a two and a half out of five.